Hi there, Laura here. Today I'm going to be talking about the small creator tag that Smokey Glow created. And I saw um, her video and thought this would be a good tag for me to do because I'm a very tiny, small creator. And um, I thought I'd do my makeup at the same time. So I'm going to start off with my L'Oreal Lumi Pure Light Primer. This is in my project pan and I just, I keep forgetting to use it, so. I'm going to throw some on now. Give my face a little bit of a glow. So this tag has lots of um, questions about why you started YouTube and things. So I'm just going to go through and answer the questions as I put on my makeup. So the first question was, how long have you been on YouTube? So I've been on YouTube for about a year now. So just over a year. But I haven't been very consistent in my posting, I have to say. <laughs> I um, Sometimes I post very consistently and then depending on what's happening in the family and health-wise and things, that depends on how often I get to film and post. I'm just going to find my primer. I'm going to use my next pour filler. This was one that YouTube made me buy because somebody, and I can't remember who it was now, um, said that it was a really good pore filling primer. It comes out really weirdly. If you can see that, it's it's quite lumpy and weird. And I really don't know that it does a lot for me. But since I've got it, I will use it. <laughs> so the second question on this tag is, what was your first video about? Well, my first video was an art studio tour because my I, when I started my channel, I started my channel about art, about painting. So that was my first very first video. I went round and showed my art studio and the kind of things I did for painting and things. So my sponge is all nice and wet now. And I'm going to use my Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Liquid Foundation in Minx. I'm just going to dab that on. my little brush and just spread that out. It's actually not as easy to answer questions and do your makeup at the same time <laughs> as I thought because I'm concentrating on two things at once which I should already know I have trouble doing because I have trouble doing that with my art videos all the time. <laughs> so the third question is who is your dream collab? Um, <laughs> I don't actually have a dream collab <laughs> to tell you the truth. I am um, I am such an antisocial personality that it, um, the idea of talking to a stranger about a collab and figuring out how to do it and all the rest of it is quite nerve wracking actually <laughs> and I just haven't even considered doing one at this stage and also because I'm in New Zealand and collabs aren't that easy when you're so far away so it sort of hasn't been on my priority list at this stage so I haven't really got a dream collab. What is your end goal on YouTube? Well my <laughs> that's changed even over this year to tell you the truth. When I first started YouTube, I started it because of my art and I wanted to I'm just gonna get my powder while I'm doing this. This is my Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Powder. Oh actually I, I might want to do my concealer before I do that. I'm going to use my 
Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fear under my eyes. Yeah, so I started it for my art channel because I, I have um, a website for my art where I sell my art and I also have a blog where I write about art and um, I wanted another way of getting my work out there and getting known which is why I started my YouTube channel and my end goal was really to get people to my website and hopefully buying some art. <laughs> so that was the idea of starting the channel in the first place. But what I discovered along the way was with um, YouTube is that I actually really enjoy doing YouTube videos and I really enjoy making the videos and I, I, I quite enjoy editing them and everything and sharing them out there and sharing them with all of you. And that's why I started doing the makeup things because with things that are going on in my family at the moment health-wise, I don't always get to do my art, but doing my makeup was sort of a way for me to express myself creatively when I couldn't do my art. And so I decided to start filming that. And for me, it's, it's kind of like therapy, really. It's a creative outlet. And I like to share with you all, even though I say I'm really antisocial, I like, I still like to share my creative side like this. So my end goal has changed, so it's not about selling my art anymore, it's about sharing. And I really enjoy the process and, and doing it, so that's why I do it, because I just want to share. <laughs> I'm sure there was a question here somewhere. I might may have missed it when I wrote it down. Like what would it mean to you to make it on YouTube? And um, really, I don't know the answer to that one either, to tell you the truth. Because for me, making it on YouTube, it's not about making it on YouTube. I would like to um, have enough followers, enough people watching my videos to make it feel like it's actually worth spending the amount of time I do on it and if I made any money on it so that I could actually pay for the cost of doing it that would be great but as I said for me at the moment it's like therapy I just really enjoy doing it and it's something positive and fun in my life whereas a lot that's happening at the moment is not that positive and fun <laughs> so that's, that's really why I do it. So I'm just going to set my face with my powder now. So I'm not sure which question that was, but I'm pretty sure I must have forgotten to write that one down. <laughs> I, um, I washed my brushes today, and so I'm working with a very limited number of brushes because they're still wet, and so my makeup could be interesting today because I haven't got hardly any brushes that I haven't washed available to me just at the moment so the ones that I usually use are not here <laughs> and I keep looking at my brushes thinking you know what, what brush, brush am I going to use next because I'm a creature of habit and I tend to use the same ones all the time so I'm going to go in with my elf eye primer and just go over my eyes it's just such a funny product I was sure it was nearly empty about three weeks ago and it's still going seems to be never ending <laughs> which is good I mean it's it's a cheap product and it seems to work okay it's just deceiving because there's no way to tell how much product is, is left in this tube and I thought it was nearly running out and I was having to scrape the sides but I'm still scraping the sides and getting plenty out so <laughs> And I use makeup just about every day. So another question here is what is the hardest part about YouTube? Um, well the hardest part for me is actually <laughs> the part that, well I wouldn't say it was hard, it was just the bit I dislike is actually loading it up and putting all the description in and getting it on there. 
for people to see. I really enjoy taping them. I really like making them and I don't even mind editing them, but when it comes to loading them, that's where I get lazy and can't be bothered. So very often I have them and I just haven't loaded it yet. <laughs> so that's just, it's like I, I, I finished the creative pro process of it and that's just the practical side of it that I find boring because I'm in it for the creative side of it, not the, the boring side. <laughs> so. I'm just um, using uh, my NATO blusher in Peach Glow. I have no idea what I'm doing today with my makeup. I'm just making it up as I go along. <laughs> and what is the best part about YouTube? The best part is when you do share your stuff out there and you get positive comments back and people think you know that you, you can pass on things that actually help other people like with my painting I can pass on my painting knowledge and it helps other people they can um, learn from it and the makeup ones are just fun and the people who are following me with the makeup stuff. This, this brush is not the right one for my bronzer, that's for sure. So the people who follow me for makeup things are really good at, at positive comments and and they're quite funny and it's it's just fun to share like that. So I, I enjoy that aspect of it. What is the funniest comment you've ever got on YouTube? Well, actually, the funniest comment I've ever got, it was actually on a makeup one, so it's really recent, because I've only been doing the makeup ones for about a month. I'm just getting my contour while I'm talking. So, um, <laughs> I was doing yellow eyeshadow, and somebody commented that they never wear yellow eyeshadow because she did once as a teenager, and her mother... Um, was checking it for jaundice, which just I thought was really funny. So that was the funniest comment I've ever got, and it had nothing to do with anything I was doing. It was just, it was just funny. I love how the makeup community and the small creators, anyway, they they all share. They're all there to to share and support each other, and and they're just a fun crowd. So I'm not sorry that I started doing the makeup ones because I've got to um, talk to some really fun people. And um, what was the meanest comment you've ever had? That was actually on one of my art videos. And I was doing some practice on some things and they did a, a very short comment saying, oh, you need more practice. <laughs> I was like, well, duh, that's why I'm doing it. It was for practice. I didn't say I was an expert. I said we, we, we could learn together. <laughs> so, yeah. so that I wasn't too impressed with that comment, but um, I was very polite when I answered her back. And um, I think it was a her anyway. And she, she actually made a nice comment back again. So that worked out in the end. But I don't usually get really mean comments or anything on my videos because I'm so tiny that there's no point in trolling someone who's really small like me. <laughs> what other subject matter could you create a YouTube channel about? Well, I've already started doing that. So I started off with my art and then I did... I'm thinking what I want to use next. I want to use next. I want to use my, my Wet n Wild bronzer and take it to Brazil. So um, I started off with my art and then I started doing just a month ago the makeup ones and I really wondered at the time I should probably make a different channel for this but I didn't want to have another channel. I just wanted to have one channel where it was all central and done and I knew that it would mean I'd probably lose some followers because 
some of the people who were following me for art just would not be interested in any makeup ones and I'd get unfollowed and, and that, that has happened but I've caught up again with the amount I lost now hopefully <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm doing the makeup ones and doing the art ones and you know the odd crafty things so I'm sort of more instead of making a new channel I'm more expanding my channel to encompass more of my creative life than just doing the art because my life, my creative life is more than just my art. It encompasses quite a few different things that I do when I can't get to the art or I can't mentally do the art because sometimes it's just too hard. <laughs> So why did you first start your YouTube channel? Well, I think I already answered that. I uh, I started it for my art. So that was why I started. I'm going to use my Milani palette, Must Have Metallics. But I think I'll go into my face palette first because the only matte in that palette is a black and I don't even want to use black today. So I'm just going to go into my Profusion face, face palette. And I'm going to use this fawn colour, which there's not too much left of. This is where I'm going to have fun finding brushes to use. Yeah, so, so I started it for my art. And I started it initially so I could get myself out there and get people seeing what I was doing. And um, hopefully coming to my website and buying my art. But I very soon discovered how much I enjoyed teaching in this way and also on my blog enjoyed doing that as well because um, I don't make any money on my blog either the same as with the YouTube it's purely for education but because my um, background is in teaching not in art but I, it, it is in teaching I'm a, I'm a kindergarten teacher by trade and have done that for years and years and years and I'm not teaching now I find that teaching through YouTube is something I really enjoy. So, and although with and then with the makeup, it was just a way to still be here and be a presence here and in things because I wasn't doing as much art, and so I wanted to post more often, and I couldn't get the painting done very often, so. It was just my way of of getting around that really. So I'm gonna go into some gold and go on my lid. So what's the next question? What video are you most embarrassed about? You know, this is the one that I have to redo and it is actually my channel trailer. <laughs> I do not like my channel trailer. It was um it was like the when I first set up my channel, I made my channel tra trailer, so I'm very stilted and, and sounds like I'm reading from a script, which I was. And it's just not very good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not a very good video, and I do need to change it, because now that I've started doing more than just art, it's um, no longer relevant. So, I haven't got around to refilming that, but that is something I need to do, and that would probably be the worst video the others um the early ones aren't great but i wouldn't say i was embarrassed about them because we all have to start somewhere <laughs> so and the other question is what video are you most proud of so, it's actually not one video. I'm going to go into this red colour, which is what attracted me to this palette in the first place, because I think it's beautiful. So, the video that I'm most proud of um, is actually a series of videos when I decided um, I hadn't been painting for a while because of um, people in hospital and things and spending a lot of time there and when I came back from 
from that I um, wanted to get back into painting and I was having a bit of trouble doing it so I started doing 30 days of painting and I managed to do a whole month of painting every day and doing YouTube video and writing a blog every single day for a month and that was pretty hard work actually, especially with writing the blog as well. So I'd get up in the morning and figure out exactly what I was going to paint, what I was going to talk about, and um, then go and do that in the morning. And then in the afternoon I'd write the blog. And it took quite a while and when I finished I was really proud of myself for actually doing the whole thing. I'm going to go into that colour in the middle. So I, so I was pretty proud of myself for actually achieving that. And it showed me that I can do it if I don't want to do anything else that is, because it does take a lot of time. And the last question I've got here is what is your first YouTube memory. Um, my first YouTube memory was actually watching YouTube, not filming YouTube or being on YouTube myself. But I um, I started watching art videos first and then after a while I discovered the makeup community. and started learning quite a lot about how to apply makeup and got really interested in the makeup side of it as well. Now I'm going to, need to go into my matte palette. I am struggling a bit with not having the brushes I normally use. So um, that's that really got me into makeup in a bigger way. I've always enjoyed makeup and things, but I wasn't really that into it. But then when I started watching the makeup tutorials on YouTube, I got a lot more interested. It felt a lot more artistic when you suddenly had a lot more skills and things to learn on how to do it. And the products have got so much better as well because people are, are watching YouTube and they want to to do what the people on YouTube are doing suddenly you can buy a lot better products than you ever used to be able to so I think that's made a huge difference to the beauty community as well and I still watch lots of beauty YouTube and I still watch art YouTube because those are the things I'm most interested in. Going to get, what am I going to get? Going to get my Maybelline Master Drama Eye Pencil in Brownie Glitz and do some eyeliner. I'm going to go in with the dark brown out of my face profusion palette. If I can open it. And just do a bit brown on the outside there just to define the outer edge a little bit. I've put my mascara on the top. I don't think I'll bother putting it on the bottom today. And I'm just going to put my lipstick on. Just trying to decide what colour to use. I might use my Elizabeth Arden one in Peach Bliss. I always forget how to open this. It opens differently from every other lipstick I have. I'm not going to put a liner on either, I'm just going for a quite a soft look. 
so it's not so soft that it's all over my face. That wouldn't be so good. <laughs> so um, through this small creator tag that Smoky Glow has created, I um, I found quite a few little other little creators that have been fun to catch up on and, and follow. So that's been quite good. I'm going to use my Brow Artist Plumper. So, oops, i dropped that on the floor. So, um, thanks to Smoky Glow for her creativeness in coming up with this tag and having lots of little creators being able to join in. I did that well, didn't I? It's been really fun. And if you're a small creator, then... So, oops, my battery ran out on my camera and um, I thought I'd charged it, but I must have forgot to actually turn the charger on last night. So, um, I've changed the battery. Well, I've charged it up, so it's been a couple of hours since the last time I was here. And I'm trying to remember where I was up to. But um, I had finished all the questions and one of the things that I wanted to say was that one of the reasons why I started doing the makeup videos was because putting my makeup on and today, and today also I wasn't having a very good morning I was in a pretty low mood and I sat down to film and started putting my makeup on and now I've got my makeup on and it just I don't know, it just brightens me up, makes me feel better. And part of it is being creative and making the video and talking to all of you. And part of it is just making myself feel better because when you feel like you look good, then you feel better as well. So it's the power of makeup, <laughs> really. And and art does the same thing to me. The the power of being creative for me is really important every day and so making YouTube videos is also the power of being creative, creating something that I can share. So I think um, that's why I'm doing the YouTube videos, being able to share and be creative and if I can help other people in any way then that's a huge added bonus for me. So thank you Smoky Glow for making the small creator tag, I've really enjoyed it and I've found lots of um, other small YouTubers through this tag that I can connect with so that's been great. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!